So do you want to know which 360 camera has the best image quality as of October 2017? It's the Yi 360VR. You're watching 360 Rumors, my name is Nick. And uh, I currently have around uh, 25 360 cameras and I own three more before that. So I've owned 28 360 cameras. Out of those 28, the one with the highest image quality as of October 2017 is the Yi 360 VR. So this video has two parts. In the first part, I'm gonna show you some real world sample 360 videos that show how the Yi 360 per VR performs. It's uh, resolution, dynamic range, and other characteristics. And in the second part of this video, I'm gonna show you 360 videos from other competing 360 cameras so you can see how they compare with the Yi 360 VR. So before we start, a couple of quick notes. Uh, first, the, the Yi 360 VR that I'm using is just a pre-production version. So the final version will actually be even better. The other thing is that in case you haven't heard, uh, YouTube is now fully supporting 5.7K and 8K. So feel free to click on the resolution in the settings below on the bottom right cor corner of your screen. Uh, if you're on the desktop and uh, choose the 5.7K and as long as you have a decent internet connection, you'll be able to see the full resolution of the E360 VR. So now let's take a look at some real world sample videos from the E360 VR. Uh, one of the things that impressed me about it was the uh, resolution and detail. Uh, you can see this uh, especially in uh, distant objects and small details. So for example in this scene, uh, you can pause it and you can see that uh, the thread pattern in my collar and in my shirt is actually visible. I was also impressed with the consistency of the sharpness throughout the frame. In this scene, for example, you can see the houses in the distance and you can still see the minute level of detail even for houses that are near or at the stitch line. The Yi 360 VR also has incredible dynamic range. In this scene, I'm backlit with the sun uh, low on the horizon, uh, but you can still see detail in the shaded areas, not just for me, but also for the other people in the background. The dynamic range is also visible in this scene where I'm sitting in a stadium uh, fully shaded uh, while the sun is really bright outside in sunny 16 conditions. But you can see detail both in the shaded area where we're sitting as well as in the field that's under direct sunlight. The Yi 360 VR also has excellent resistance to flare and has very consistent exposure between its two lenses. Here I was holding the camera at various angles to the sun but there's hardly any reduction in contrast and only the smallest flare artifacts. The Yi 360 VR's lenses also do a great job of suppressing chromatic aberration. In this uh, scene where you have backlit trees, you can see that there's very little if any chromatic aberration or purple fringing. I also like how the Yi 360 VR captures colors. They look natural but also vibrant without being oversaturated. Let's see how the Yi 360 VR compares with other popular 360 cameras. First, here's the test scene with the Yi 360 VR, which tests the, the resolution, dynamic range, flare resistance, chromatic aberration, and other properties. Now, let's check out the Gear 360 2017. The Gear 360 2017 is sharp throughout most of the frame, but it's just not as sharp as the Yi 360 VR. The Gear 360 2017 also has issues with warping along the stitch line and has, is susceptible to flare. Now here's the Insta360 One. 
It also has great image quality, especially towards the middle of the lens, but it's less sharp towards the stitch line and the shadow areas are a little noisy. Now here's the Xiaomi Mi Sphere. It has one of the sharpest lenses in its class, but its video is capped at 3.5K, so that limits its actual resolution for video. And it has noticeably less detail than the Yi 360 VR. Next is the Theta V. The Theta V is very detailed, although not quite as detailed as the Yi 360 VR. Uh, it also has a lot of uh, chromatic aberration and is vulnerable to flare. Now here's the Garmin Verde 360. It offers about the same level of detail as the Yi 360 VR. However, the shadow is not as detailed, so it appears to have less dynamic range. In addition, it is very susceptible to flare. In addition, the stitching through the Verb software is not as good as that of the Yi 360 VR's optical flow stitching. Here again is the Yi 360 VR. It's very detailed, the sharpness is edge to edge, dynamic range is excellent, has no chromatic aberration, and has the most controlled flare in this group. So thanks for watching, and if you'd like to order the Yi 360 VR, it's available for pre-order from BNH Photo. I know BNH's website says that its uh, release date is not until December 2017, but according to my contact at Yi, that's not true, and that it's actually going to be released at the end of October. Um, so um, go ahead and pre-order it, and if you'd like more information on the Yi 360 VR, I have a webpage with extensive information about it. Check out the links in the description below. Um, and I have the complete specifications and features, an exclusive interview with Yi's marketing director, uh, sample videos, links to the app and the, uh, the PC software for downloading, um, and all in the information that you'd want to know about the Yi 360 VR. Thanks again for watching, and if you found this video helpful, uh, please hit the like button, and what that does is it lets YouTube know that you found this video helpful so they can show it to more people and more people will get to benefit from this video. And, and for more information on 360 cameras and accessories, you can also subscribe to my channel. Um, I have tons of videos on 360 cameras and accessories. Uh, and I've organized them into playlists. Just click on playlist and you can see there's uh, a playlist for almost any imaginable topic for 360 cameras. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.